Okay, guy, last qualifier OAC. How many guys you got here? Uh, we have about 12. Do or die time here. Do or die time. Last chance. Yeah, last chance. So, uh, OAC, first things first. Toughest state series in the state, no question. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when we look at it, though, um, you guys, West Shore, you do a combination of West Shore and the factory, right? We do West Shore. Mike's the factory. But we're West Shore, yes. Okay, so when you look at West Shore, how many guys total have you qualified for the championships? Uh, probably about 40 qualified right now. 40? Yeah. 4 0. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Uh, when you look at you know all levels, junior high, grade school, I think your grade school is tougher. Because there's more people, right? Especially Division Three, there's more kids. But what do you think's toughest division? Where do you like to see your kids get out of this? We actually, we think the crown jewel in this whole series is that junior high state title, one division. You know, three grades. We think that's the crown jewel. We really start to concentrate on uh, Division Three and Division Four. We want to see our kids place in there. And of course, one and two, we're just hoping that they they get down there and do some wrestling. But yeah, three, four, we want them winning, and we really want that junior high state title. I look at the junior high state, and if you look at who's won like the 102, the 108 pound weight class, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's a who's who. There's some really tough brackets. Did there. Gus win 102 or 108? Did he Gus won 105. I 105. Think. I so what it was. the 10 whatever weights have always been nails. I um, bumped them up for that too. Did you? Yeah. Okay. So it, you know, junior high state, it's the real deal. I think we've only had a you know under 10 three time champs. Yes. Logan Stever being one of these world champions, pretty good. David but uh, Taylor, David one. Taylor, he's good. Felipe Martinez. I mean, we've had some guys. But uh, uh, looking at defense soap, you know, I see it on your shirt right now. Uh, you you go from one job out of the furnace into a bigger furnace. You go from Cleveland Police to defense soap. You know, we've talked about this before, but how much different is business from you know? Being a police officer, how much different is it? Uh, I like I like them both. I mean, obviously, it's rewarding being a policeman, but you know, I, I'm my own boss. I do what I want to do. I talk to wrestlers and fighters all day long. There's not much better job than dealing with you know your your own niche. When you're part of your niche and it's your job, it's really easy. Better to deal with wrestlers. Better to deal with fighters. I'm putting I'm gonna put you on the spot, guys. Uh, wrestlers. Rest, I mean, wrestlers are you know that's you're a wrestler. We're organized. We're very, very organized. organized. Driven, organized. On time, reliable. Fighters are a little different. Well, if you talk to the fighters, the fighters fear the wrestlers the most. The jujitsu guys, the boxers, they always fear the wrestlers. It's just because we start them at this level. We know how to train them, and we're by the time we get to that level, you know, we're pretty good. Uh, as far as defense soap, you and I are going to team up, do some other stuff. You know, where's the ceiling for defense soap? Is there a ceiling? Uh, we're, I don't know. We're taking it one step at a time. You know, we're doing pretty good. Um, on Amazon, we're, we, my business has doubled since I retired from the police department. Um, it's efforts like you guys and me hitting grassroots efforts, you know, good stuff. All right, you got guys coming up, divisions four and three coming up? Three and four coming up now, but we're here all day today. All right, guy, you got anything else for me? No, thanks. Great job, Jeff. Hey, thanks for the time. Defend what you've built, which you, you continue to do. And offense wins matches, defense keeps you on the mat. Thanks, guys.